All right, welcome to the next video. What is it, number five or whatever? Um, so I just edited and uploaded the last video, so haven't done a whole lot since then. Just thought I'd give you an update on the next phase of the construction. Today I just finished up the last odds and ends of the construction, or of the framing. I mean, we did, uh, I put in two nailers up there. We cut out that bottom plate, uh, put in a nailer on the corner here. Just like little odds and ends like that. Um, also we got some plywood and on the insides of this column, I put some plywood. So, um, that really strengthens this. You can have like a football player run into this thing and it's not, it's not moving at all. So especially when that's all drywalled, that'll be a real solid column there. So if somebody were to bump into it or whatever, you're not going to have hopefully any drywall cracking or anything like that from it moving. Um, literally the last thing we need to do is just shoot a nail down into the concrete there. I just haven't done that yet. And it's just temporarily attached up there. I want to make sure it's in the right spot. Um, and then with the bar, we, uh, did, uh, well, it's, it's all shimmed up now. My dad finished shimming that I started it and then I got frustrated. So he finished and it's all level now, both this way and long ways. There's two by six blocking in the back because well I'll show I'll explain the counter in a second and then we did plywood on the outside of it and it's gonna from the edge there's gonna be drywall of course on the front of this and then um, from that it's gonna come over like 12 inches so it'll be pretty wide and then but to support to support the uh, the overhang there's gonna be brackets and we have the same thing like you got like a decorative thing they sell um, and so the weight is going to be pushing down like this, which is going to be pushing the force this way. Um, so that'll push right into those blocks, and that's what will strengthen that um, because it's going to be heavy if we do granite. And we have the same exact thing upstairs on our island, um, just a little bracket thing. looks nice. Um, so that's the bar is done. So that's it. That's all I've done. Um, yesterday or two days ago, we had the plumber and electrician came out. And he basically, or they, they looked at all this and we have all the boxes, we have to put them in place and then uh, he's going to give us a quote. We're not concerned about heating the space because even in the winter before we put any of this rigid insulation up when it was just a bare basement, it doesn't even get cold down here. So it's never, especially with insulation and all that, it's not going to get cold. Um, but what we mainly want is air conditioning because again, it doesn't get hot either, but say you have 20 people down here you got the tv going and people playing pool moving around and a lot of body heat and all the in this enclosed area it's gonna get warm so it'd be nice to have some ac kick-ons i want to drywall all of these walls that are open to the unfinished area um just on the back side so that it's easier for us to hang the insulation so this wall the back side of the bathroom inside here all that get it drywalled um and then whenever we insulate it it won't be this open bay you could just press the insulation up against the drywall um and then that'll also allow us to kind of organize back in here so all right so we're still waiting on the electrician to come out and wire everything but in the meantime we bought some drywall got just uh 12 sheets i started over here Battery's about to die, so I need to be quick. Did this myself today. Did, uh, it's really dark because they covered up the lights, but did this whole wall part of this. I'm doing the bottoms first because the top's weird. Um, and then to finish the bathroom, then I'll do this probably tomorrow. But we also, I can't get over there right now, but installed the backup sump pump. Um, so I'll show you that later, but.
All right, so the electrical and plumbing is finally done. So let me show you a tour. And we also got in the, the can lights. So we're gonna have to take them back out to drywall, but um, just so you can see how bright it looks down here. Now, there's no light in the bathroom yet, but so this switch turns on those lights. This turns on those lights. And then this is that light, plus there's one right above me. <coughs> Which I don't know what we're gonna do with that light bulb that's just sticking out of the wall. And then this will, I don't know if this is gonna get a candlelight, I think it is. Um, and then so in the bathroom, uh, you can see plumbing's all done. Uh, for the water supply lines, it's just PEX which is run like wiring. So that'll hook up. The vanity is gonna go right here, which we have it upstairs. Um, <clears throat> pipe, you know, going into the back of it. Um, and then the toilet, which is gonna move over a little bit. So it's closer to the wall, but you can see the supply line for that. <coughs> and then uh, back, well, it's too dark. I'll go over there on my way over there. Um, so, coming around here this is gonna be that wine thing nice and bright over here and we have a switch here the closet light isn't in yet but that switch turns on those that that's where the TV will be and then uh, we were accessing some pipes so that's why these this insulation is hanging down and then to turn on the lights on this back half there's a switch here You see how bright it is, and then for the bar, there's two switches. The ones here, the one here turns on those, and then we have these nice hanging pendant lights that are gonna. There's four of them that are gonna go there, um, but we don't have them in yet. And then uh, let me show you the plumbing over here. Oh, and then these are the corbel things that are gonna go right here to hold up the bar, and then for the Finished surface on the bar, we got uh, Wayne's coating, which is upstairs. I need to finish installing nail guards today before I start insulating. <coughs> um, but yeah, so here's the pump for the bar. There's another one over there, but um, drain line goes up behind the wall and then hooks into our sewer. And then you can see Pex lines coming down. And then this is his vent that he ran out. Um, <coughs> So, this is the pool table area, and then going into the storage area, uh, we need to add another light down here underneath the steps, but this is the breaker box that he added, so this unit is just for the, the basement area. So. Um, I don't know if I showed you this yet, but I drywalled down here just in this back area So it's easier for me to insulate on the other half <coughs> and then uh, This is the area behind here and then um, You can see where he added the new PEX lines or wherever Whichever ones he added to oh he actually added an extender. I think I didn't really take a look at that yet <clears throat> and then uh, this is the pump on the back side for uh, for the toilet going going to go straight through the wall. <coughs> you can see he left a conduit for it there, so it goes up. Uh, <clears throat> this is the vent. I haven't even looked at how he did this yet. So yeah, it oh uh, it doesn't tie in here. That's from from the kitchen. It ties in uh, right there, I think. Yeah. So, and then he has to, he vented it. The vent goes all the way over and ties into the other vent. So, <clears throat> so that's that. Um, and then uh, this is the backup pump we got. So if our regular pump ever fails, uh, like in a storm, this pump actually works on water pressure. 
So this is just a water faucet attached to the water intake and it's on, right? So it it's, it goes into that. Obviously the water's not flowing right now, but um, if the water ever triggers that, uh, that backup pump, which uh, the trigger level is higher than um, the regular pump, so that would mean the other pump would have had to fail. If it triggers that, um, <clears throat> this thing comes up and it actually opens, it opens the valve for this and it makes the water start flowing through and the water pressure of the water coming into it makes the water go up. So I think it's like for every one gallon of water that flows into this, two gallons flow out. So we're actually pumping up water with water, no electricity because it's, it's made for if the power goes out. So this place should never flood uh, in a storm but that's really neat how that works, but it's only for backups. So finally done with electrical and everything. I, According to my original like timeline, I was assuming that this would have been done a month ago, but it took, It's uh, right now it's January 10th, and um, I had planned to actually be completely done drywalling by now, and as you can see, we didn't even start that. So um, I'm about to do insulation, and then hopefully very soon we'll get some... Uh, drywall down here.
All right, so let me show you the air compressor we bought. We have a stapler for it and a brad nailer. Let's turn it on. All right, so finally done with insulation. It only took two days. Um, so, well, we're just about done. Let me just show you a tour. So, bottom of the steps, bathroom. Did not do this wall because um, we're going <clears> to <throat> maybe move, move around a little bit of that plumbing first. But uh, the other walls are done. Got all up top in the nooks and crannies behind that pipe and everything. Cut around those joists drywalled the other side of this wall uh, we still have to do the bottom of this um, <clears throat> I'm gonna also do this wall just to fully insulate the bathroom uh, it was a pain getting behind this thing uh, this whole area cut out around top there and then uh, this did the front wall here <clears throat> so this this part will be uninsulated though and then this whole closet now this wall, being that it's uh, it's away from, it's actually three and a half inches out from the concrete, we double insulated it because there's um, there's drain lines and water lines running behind the wall. So, I mean, I highly doubt they would freeze because we're so far underground. Oh, sorry, but um, what we just wanted to insulate both sides of it just so that you didn't have the warm air here and then the pipes on the other side of the insulation. So it's yeah, it's two layers. So eight full inches of insulation the whole length of the wall. <clears throat> so that should be nice. Um, yeah, I just have to touch up a couple places. This is uh, this is the drain line for the coming out of the pump from the uh, the bar sink, which which goes all the way up into here. Comes down there and then he tied it in there and I also insulated up around that pipe too. Um, but we're going to temporarily, or not temporarily, just we're going to tie in this drain line into here and just have it end inside the wall and then we're going to drywall over it. Um, but the reason for that is uh, at some point in the future, depending on, like we don't think we're going to need um, heating and air conditioning down here really, but if we decide we want to add a unit, um, we're going to put a wall unit here and it would need to drain. So we'll just mark where on the wall the drain is cut in you know hook it up so uh, we won't have to tear a bunch of holes in the wall just one little thing um so yeah uh that little section still needs finished got the whole bar here <clears throat> the pump there uh getting ready to we're looking at trying to figure out how to support this back countertop and uh, we have a pretty good plan for how we're going to build that but i want to drywall first this whole wall is done, this whole area. I didn't do up top there because it's not necessary. On the other side of that drywall is just uh, just the steps, which is also insulated. So, But yeah, I got it all up top in the, these areas. And then I put a little thing here to separate the unfinished area 
which is now completely separated since I drywalled that one wall. But, uh, yeah, so this is the other side of the bathroom pump. But um, I want to touch up the drywall up top there and, uh, you know, do that kind of stuff. And so we, the temporary lights that were, like these lights that were down here already, are still, they're still hanging up in the ceiling there, like in the original ceiling. <clears throat> so um, we're going to take those down and move them to back in that area. Um, and that'll be the light for the unfinished area. So... But uh, the can lights look really good down here. We just hooked them up just to kind of see what the how bright it looks, how good it looks down here. Um, and then, but you'll see, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a trim that goes around it, um, and you need to drywall first and then put that trim on. So we're gonna have to take those out when we drywall. But um, yeah, all the outlet boxes are in and everything. So uh, hopefully within the next two weeks, pick up drywall. We're not going to deliver it. I'm just going to pick it up myself, um, bring it down here. So I need to figure out exactly how much we need. And then, um, you know, I'd like to just start it on my own, but I need help getting it down here and I need help, uh, <clears throat> doing hanging the ceiling and then I can do the walls myself. But, um, I just need to find time that me and my dad can go pick it up. We're both very busy with work and stuff. So I don't know when that's going to happen, but, or I guess I could just pay one of my friends to do it. But, um, so yeah, that's what we're looking at, and uh, yeah, that sorry this episode took so long. Um, most of it was just waiting for the uh, for the electrician and plumber to finish. But um, and then yeah, you'll notice I didn't time lapse every part of the installation just because I didn't do all of it. My dad did some, and he didn't take a video or anything like that. So um, yeah, we'll wrap this up, and then hopefully soon you could see us drywalling. Okay, so I didn't realize this, but. Um, this bathroom, my dad put in a light bulb there. Uh, that'll have a different light fixture when we're done. But, um, so you can see what this looks like. Pretty nice. So, I think once this is finished, you know, trying to picture it in my head, uh, should be pretty nice sized bathroom. It's six by six. And then, uh, we have the vanity upstairs. So, we'll, we're going to get the vanity down here, see how it fits. You know, how, how it looks in comparison to where the toilet is and everything. Um, and then you have all this extra space to put some kind of decoration or something. Um, so yeah, it should be really nice, nice, uh, pretty high ceilings in here too, even though I had to lower them. But, uh, yeah. And then I also need to totally forgot to do, to insulate some of these corners before I drywall the other side. So no way to get insulation back in there. I did one of them. I remember to do one, but the rest I forgot. Um, so we're just going to get spray foam and just spray it in this void. So. But uh, yeah, that's what the bathroom looks like.